A young graduate of the U.S. Air Force Academy is already making a significant contribution to her nation's war fighting capability, and not from the skies, but from the chemistry lab. Here is correspondent Alicia Cunha. This is what we've been using. It just yep. it doesn't look that intimidating. Nope. No, of course you know, not. It's, it's really fun. unassuming. Unassuming is part of the brilliance of a concoction made by Air Force Academy it's cadet serious. Haley Weir it's and her instructor, Dr. Ryan Burke. This goop you see could one day save the lives of those in combat. The concept of going out there and stopping a bullet was something that we had made in a chemistry lab. That's what really sparked the interest for me. 21-year-old Weir got the idea in a chemistry class and went to her then advisor, sure. Professor Burke, at the Academy's Military and Strategic Studies Department. Naturally, pretty skeptical. I said, uh, I'm not really sure this is going to work. To convince him, she poured water into a bowl of cornstarch and asked him to put his finger in the mixture with force. I jammed my finger right into this bowl and I almost broke my finger. I did not penetrate into the liquid. Sheer thickening fluid, a powerful concept that the unlikely pair took, and using plastic forks and knives, a Walmart mixer, and super simple yet super secret ingredients came up with a paste that combined with other anti-ballistics does this. A quarter inch thick fabric that when tested stopped a nine millimeter bullet. Our range safety officer pulled this 44 Magnum and he said, uh, yeah, th this will fail. We loaded it in and it, it stopped it. And then it stopped it a second time and then a third time. Haley's ultimate goal is to lighten the load for those in combat. A full kit is 26 pounds with the ceramic plates. You replace those with this new material, it could lighten the load by two thirds. At a fraction of the cost, more testing will prove whether this new product Product could be used to replace or reduce the heavy steel plating on military vehicles and aircraft and first responders. The pieces are not new. Everything that we've used in there has been researched in some capacity for ballistic protection. The Air Force was so impressed it's sending the now second lieutenant on a full ride to Clemson University for her master's in material science and engineering. Upon graduation, she heads back to the military to help further develop protections for those overseas. I'm just trying to do what I can with what I know. I don't think it's really all that special. No, it is special. The team has applied for a patent and will share in any future sales of their invention with the Air Force, which is funding the research. James. Alicia Acuna, thanks.